What's up guys? Today I decided that I don't want to do a vlog and I wanted to do a fun little shoe haul with you. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm not a, like a sneaker shoe YouTuber. There's a lot of them out there. I'm not one of them. I most likely will never post a shoe haul again unless I end up making videos for a really long time and collecting more shoes. But we'll see about that. Anyway, I have about 13 sneakers to show you today. I'm not going to be showing you like my sandals, my boots, my tennis shoes. It's more focused on like hype shoes, um, mainly from Nike. And then I'm going to show you a few shoes from Converse. All the links to all the shoes I'm going to be showing you are in the description below. So if you're interested in the prices or checking them out or just going on go to look at other shoes then please do that all the links are going to be directing you to the website called goat goat and stock x are probably the two like biggest shoe companies right now at least that i know of that sell sneakers like the ones i'm going to be showing you they have tons of shoes on the website if you don't like any of the shoes that i'm showing you then have some fun shop around i know that shoes can be expensive. I wanted to let you know a lot of the shoes that I'm gonna be showing you. I did fortunately get at retail price. One of them I even got in a raffle or they're gifted to me. So just kind of adding that in there. But yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video and let's look at the first pair of shoes. The first pair of shoes that I wanna show you are Nike Dunk Lows in Gray Fog. I'm kind of confused how I'm gonna end up holding all these shoes in this video because this is like a weird position to be in to show but anyway these are definitely like a staple shoe of mine i wear them all the time because they're made of like the harder leather all around it's super easy to clean even though they're like the lighter colors but it's a step above having plain white air forces which i'm not like hating on owners of all white air forces because i think every single person in the world maybe that was more around my age owned a pair in like high school or being in college or maybe you still own them no hate they're cheap they're a great stable shoe they match with everything but if you want to step up these babies are awesome guys and girls can both wear them i think that they're super cute Here's another pair of Dunk Lows. These are women's, so they're like the woman. I have like my notes next to me, like trying to look at the names of these. Women's Dunk Low Coasts. Coasts. So, oh my God, I literally speak one language. I can't even speak it. So that's that's my life. But anyway, these are adorable. I got these before my gray ones. Wear them all the time. I'm obsessed with blue. I absolutely love this color. Yeah, I would say that these are one of my favorite pairs of shoes that I own because even though they're simple, they also like pop and they stand out. I've gotten tons of compliments on these shoes whenever I wear them, so I really recommend. They're also like made out of the same material, so they're super easy to clean off. You can wear them if you live in Michigan or in states that have bad weather like Michigan. I wear these in the snow, like they're really easy to clean. I really recommend. The next pair of shoes that I'm going to show you are also Dunks, but they're Dunk Highs in a different color blue. <laughs> As you can tell that there's a pattern here. Anyway, these are Dunk High GS Midnight Navy. I also recently just got these, so they're pretty white. But like I said, super easy to clean off because they're also made of leather. Absolutely love them. Go with anything. The next pair of shoes are also Dunks. These are the Nike Dunk High Michigan State. I actually won these bad boys in a raffle. So I got them for I think even cheaper than retail price. Air Jordan 4 Retro LS Legend Blue. Keep having to look at my notes because these names are way too long. They should just be like white blue Jordans. Except I understand that there's like a lot of them. So I see the reasoning behind the long names. But anyway, uh, I love like simple shoes like mainly like white or just solid colors so that they can go with a lot i have small enough feet so i can get shoes for cheaper which is super nice i'd be lying if i said i wore these a lot though even though they're super simple i feel like they're like a little bit out of my comfort zone but i really like them in my sneaker collection so yeah now we're moving on to a couple of my Air Jordan 1s. These were actually the first pair of sneakers I got that I guess you'd consider it more like a hype pair of shoes. Right when I got these, absolutely obsessed with them. I cry really easily, but I'm pretty sure I cried when I got these shoes. These are called Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG GS Smoke Gray. 
I'm pretty sure. These have like a little bit like softer leather on them as well as like the super easy to clean leather. I don't wear these like as much when it's like gross outside because they do have like the light gray that's easier to get dirty because it's the soft leather. But these are also like a really good staple shoe. Super simplistic colors, really cute with like a pop of red. I really like these. And yeah, moving on to my next pair of Air Jordans. All right, I feel like these are like super, or they used to be like super hype shoes right when they came out. But these, I just call them mochas, but like the proper name is Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG GS Dark Mocha. These are absolutely beautiful shoes. These are shoes that I see like girls and guys wearing all the time. They're like a slick pair of shoes. Everyone compliments them because they're gorgeous. I like wearing these kind of shoes even with like more fancy outfits. I'm obsessed with these. Love them a lot. Like I said, link in description if you want to check them out. For my last pair of Nikes, these are like the most popular shoe or at least they used to be for a really long time. Nike vintage black and white blazers. They're just super easy to throw on. Actually comfortable, strangely. Nike definitely knows what they're doing. Love their stuff. And now we're going to be moving on to Converse. Got some Chuck Taylor All-Star High Black. These shoes do not have laces on them currently. They're actually in my shoe right here. I tried to wash them. These are my going out shoes, my walk in the woods shoes, doing basically whatever I have to do in my life shoes. I feel like I don't take care of these shoes as well but it's always important to have a shoe that you really like don't care about but like do care about but don't care about i'd be very sad if someone took these shoes for me but at the same time it's like yeah they can get banged around a little bit i don't really care i also have these these are not the same as my black pair even though they look identical um these are actually in oh they just call them navy i'm like looking at my notes like they did some crazy thing to the name but nope these are just chuck taylor high navy converse and you're probably like why in the world do you have two pairs of shoes that basically look exactly the same fortunately for me a mistake happened on my mom's end for christmas gifts and because she hates returning things i ended up getting two pairs of shoes which was a shoot and a score for me so now i have the black shoes which i get trashed a little bit more these ones i also don't care about a lot but i don't have to care about I don't have to care about my black ones even more because I basically have the same pair in a different color. So boom. Last pair of shoes, I have Chuck Taylor All-Star High Milk. I'm just gonna leave it at that because these are actually like with a European brand, like this little heart did a collab with Converse, I wanna say. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I have no idea how to pronounce the name. Um, whenever people are like, oh, where'd you get those shoes? Or like, oh, did you make them? And I'm like, no, I actually bought them. They're pretty popular European Converse collab thing. They're like, oh shoot, like what's it called? I'm like, couldn't tell ya. I actually took these pair of shoes um, to Europe with me. We had to pack super lightly for the study abroad. I decided to bring these. They were actually really comfortable. Like we walked all the time. I had these shoes on my feet basically 24 seven because they're so neutral, but they have like the little heart and I wanted to be cute wearing a European shoe in Europe, whatever. These came in clutch. All right, well, this is sad. Um, I have my shoes all over the floor now. I have a little shoe party going on down here. Look at them. Aw. So I think I'm gonna end my shoe haul video thing right here. I know it's super sad, won't be doing them anymore. You're gonna miss them. You got doing shoe hauls, super exciting, I know. And I hope it wasn't too short because it seemed like that just like flew by. And I was having so much fun. This time flies by when you're having fun, you know. Also, a little self promotion, go watch my, um, I can't speak. Go watch my vlog that I just posted. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. I love you, appreciate you. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to watch more of my videos, subscribe to my channel, smash that like button. You've probably been on YouTube before so you know what to do already. I sincerely appreciate it. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.